I found this story out from one a uh, family member of mine, and when I heard it, I was like, "Huh? What is really what, what happened?" I didn't understand what they were saying. So they said this girl. What, what, what I th- what I heard was that this girl was. Sh- I thought they said this girl was shot at the MGM Grand Casino in uh, the National Harbor, which is about driving wise, probably like ten minutes away from me. Well, the with the way I drive is probably less than that. But um I said shot. I said some hold on. Somebody brought a gun to that casino. Not saying that it's not it's not possible, but I'm just saying that, you know, that kinda threw me off. But then I couldn't tell what make out what they were saying until I heard the news clip and it said that she was shocked at the casino. Oh, he said, oh, you said that, so basically you're saying she was electrocuted. And they was like, yeah, I said, well, I wish you would have said that so I could understand what you were saying. But anyway, it says this girl, her name is Zyne Green, was shocked or electrocuted at the MGM Grand Resort Casino, whatever you want to, however you want to put it. And right there on, on the right, that's her in that picture. On the left is how she looks now. And in the middle, that's, that's the picture of the casino. Apparently, and I didn't even know these existed, there was this illuminated uh, rail, like a hold, like a holding rail, like when you walk down the stairs at the casino. And when she touched it, it sent a shock through her body, like through her entire body. And she's very, very, very lucky to be alive. And when the news clip has showed I was I was kind of talking through it like when they were talking about the story and I said I hope she recovers and as soon as I ended my sentence they came back and said that she suffered severe brain damage and she's most likely not going to recover from that and I literally just almost shut down when they said that I said this is so sad she's only six years old like whatever she whatever she did up until that point she no longer remembers. That is so sad. She is so young. She's just a little girl. And she's going to literally be, like they say, in a vegetative state for the rest of her life, most likely. Which means how you see her on the left is how she's always going to be. She's never going to be able to be how she was on the right anymore, most likely. Unless some sheer miracle happens. Now, the family has said that they plan to sue the uh, the casino. And you know what? They have every right to do so. So the money that they're going to receive, and there's going to be lots of it, is not going to bring their loved one back into the state that she was once in. But she's going to have a lot of hospital bills that's going to need to be paid. So the money can go to that in any other kind of living conditions that they're going to need to adjust as far as for her, because now she's going to have to have doctors on call, like, you know, to come to the house and, you know, help out with the family. And, you know, because now they have entered into a whole nother realm, whatever they did with her, as far as a normal routine is gone. Now they're, they now it's a whole new routine that they have to do with for her in a nutshell. This girl is so badly brain damaged, she almost might as well be brain dead. Like, it's if y'all remember this um, story with um, Terry Schiavo back in the day, and I believe she was in Florida, and they made a big story about it, and she was pretty much brain dead, and like they talked about her literally every day, till the parents decided to ultimately pull the plug on her because there was nothing left. For the doctors to do for her. Except keep her comfortable. She didn't know who she was. She didn't know where she was. She didn't know who her family was. She probably did. But in her own mental capacity. Which wasn't a lot. And what I'm scared of. Is that the same thing is going to end up happening to this girl. It's very unfortunate. That this happened. But I didn't even know rails like that even existed. But that's scary. That is very scary because now they're going to have to um, uninstall those rails. They're going to have to. They become a hazard. They have. But what what in their right mind, who would create something like that that could possibly electrocute you? 
Like, it's not like they're going to put a warning tab or a sign on a railing that you that you use to uh you, that you use <coughs> excuse me to walk down a, a set of stairs for your own safety. You know, just in case you don't fall. Now you grab it onto rails and they're electrocuting you. But like I said, she's extremely lucky to be alive. But this is going to be become her reality. It's like, it, like I said, it's very sad. It's a very sad story. Only six years old. And now, like I said, up until now, she doesn't ha probably have any memory of what of who she is or where she is or what happened. She's going to be extremely lucky if she pulls out of this and makes an even slight recovery. But even if she does, her brain is so badly damaged, it will not be 100 percent anymore. Like, it's no way that's going to actually happen, at least not in this lifetime. But that's all I really want to say um, right now. As far as the story goes, I'm going to try my hardest to stay updated or keep you updated with um, everything that goes on as far as this girl and her condition goes. Like I said, I have a lot of stories that I cover, and but there's some of them that just stick out to me that I like to really focus on whenever I can. Now, I guess I can tack this on as another story that um, keeps my interest. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The links will be in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one.